This is me in the morning, just woke up, middle of my morning routine, not showered yet, still on my first cup of coffee. So update number one is I have a real job now. So I, th I might have mentioned this before, but On Your Mark is one of the gyms that was like, it was my biggest like freelance client. We, we had this monthly deal we were doing. Let me put a shirt on for Christ's sake. All right, that, that looks a little better. So On Your Mark is that Nike gym that I had been working with a lot. If you follow me, you know they've been like my biggest freelance client ever. And I pretty much just got on like payroll with them, meaning I have like a, a real job now. So that's cool that I have like an actual stream of revenue that's like legit. It's not like freelance or anything. It's like official, you know? So that's cool. Um, second update is how I built this, that NPR podcast liked one of my tweets which was about their Casey Neistat podcast which has my gears going because I'm so inspired but uh this is really what I wanted to make this vlog like this is what I want to talk about in this vlog because it's kind of like there's my bathroom right there that's my bathroom anyways it this is a, a message that I relate to right now so let's get into it motivation but it is the neurological equivalent of candy it's rad it has its place but you, everyone because those just happen to be fleeting neurological states yeah you you just have to find something that's way more grounded you need a mission you need a grand why you need to know what it is and, and this is not a discovery it's a thing you decide i decided now because i tell it as a story people think oh it was un unavoidable he meets this kid Rashawn and that coupled with all the people that he worked with at Quest it's sort of inevitable that he decides that he's going to um, build impact theory and try to change culture to give everyone an empowering mindset yeah well literally a year before I decided to found impact theory my mission in life was to end metabolic disease so it's like you decide and then you point yourself at something nothing is ever going to feel right like this is what I was put on earth to do it won't feel that way until about a year or two years after you've been saying that's what you're going to do, that that's what you're committed to, and actually acting in accordance with it, and then you'll be like, yeah, this actually is my mission. I've done this before. Second life update is that recently I've hired a strength and fitness coach and a and I've, I've been losing weight, so I'm about five pounds down. I think I've lost like more fat than you would think five pounds is. I think the scale is kind of just being weird because you can't always rely on the scale, but I've definitely made a good amount of progress. Um, and I am going to make a like vlogumentary about the whole experience of me losing weight and getting back in shape. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. So I gotta go to the grocery store. So I'm gonna go on a trip to Minnesota in like two days. I ran out of groceries that I like to eat to uh, keep losing weight. So I'm gonna get like a couple things to hold myself over till I leave because I don't wanna buy a whole load come back and then all my groceries are spoiled. So I'm gonna show you guys some stuff I get to kind of keep the body and the mind just right. So for my last kind of reveal in this update, uh, we're gonna have to talk to one of my buddies who I met on my trip to Austin, Texas, uh, when I was doing some video stuff out there at Onnit. I don't see anything. It just says recording on my end. Maybe check your message, the chat. Let's see. But 
All right, yo, I, Manimal, I'm making a vlog about the venture we're about. About what? About we're, vlog about the documentary. Yeah, so I want you to tell them the big announcement. In, uh, I think I've hit puberty. <laughs> I feel so young. I feel like a kid. No, uh, the big announcement that we put that we're doing a documentary. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, me and Jake met in Texas. The universe, I always do what it asks me to, and the reading came up good to go there. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy that we're doing uh, my first documentary, even though it's Jake's. Uh, not his first rodeo. It's my first rodeo. Although I do like to talk on camera. So I'm pretty excited, you know, I, uh, 10 years away from the sport, came back, lost my first fight at Bellator, won the second one, when it counted at Madison Square Garden, and I'm 39, so I'm the oldest winning featherweight in Bellator. And we thought the story was pretty epic, especially since when I first started, I was 120 pounds heavier, I was 265, and uh, never, I failed gym class every year in high school. So, something I'd... Don't think I really touched on too much yesterday uh, in my little talk with John. I, pretty much we, what he said was like, we're making a documentary together, which is Bex. But also like, I'm gonna give a little more of the details. So pretty much John is a professional mixed martial arts fighter who's 39, who lives in Brooklyn. So he's a pro athlete and I, we wanted to make a documentary about his story. So we've been discussing this and planning this for the few months, for the past few months. Um, This is, is a milestone for me because one it's the first documentary that I'm like getting paid to make and there's an actual budget behind so it's like actually my pro debut as a documentarian as a filmmaker but also um, it's like the first time I'm getting like paid to travel as well like it there's this it's a huge milestone um, and we're gonna go big with it. We're trying to get investors, we're trying to get sponsors. We wanna like put it in film festivals and we're gonna shoot about a month from now. So I'm gonna be flying to New York. I'm bringing someone with. I'm really excited about this story. I'm not gonna talk, I'm not gonna reveal too much about the actual film and like the planning of all that because I just want you guys to see it when it comes out, however it does. We might try to sell it to like Netflix or something. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog there. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.